Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. lecture 90. So, in the previous uh, lecture, we finished the interplanetary mission, but that was only with respect to the home and transfer. So, there we were trying to match the phase angle condition, so that the we know what is the launch window, when uh, we can launch. So, those things are calculated using the previous uh, work we have done. Now, we are in this, we go for the actual transfer process which is involved. So, say here in this case, uh, we have sun here and the earth is located here in this place. This is your earth, sun I have shown by a small dot. Around the earth in a parking orbit, there is a satellite. And we have to send this satellite from this parking orbit to Mars. Okay. Let us say this is earth and we have to send it to Mars. So, now the problem is that going from unlike the previous problem where uh, only the human transfer we have considered to escape out of the earth's gravitational field, we need to send the satellite in hyperbolic trajectory. Without this, it will not be done. So, let us say that uh, somewhere This is the asymptote of the hyperbola. And your hyperbolic trajectory, it looks like this. So, it goes and becomes asymptotic. this is rho, this distance we show as rho 0, uh, sorry rho 0 is the orbit of the satellite around the earth, parking orbit radius. So, this is your rho 0. So, here in this point your vehicle is located. and this velocity we indicate by v infinity. So, as it becomes here asymptotic, so you can see that this is your rho vector. Okay. So, if uh, here little bit of distortion is there in this figure, if you remember the hyperbola, in the hyperbola case for the asymptote, the r is measured from the focus and then this is your theta infinity and then the r is here in this place. So, it becomes wherever the radius vector is there okay, at infinity this will be parallel to this. So, though here it is not visible. Okay. So, here we do not say that this is going to infinity, okay. rather we do it by uh, drawing a sphere around the earth like this, this we call as the sphere of influence.
also called the sphere of activity. So, this implies sun is at very large distance as compared to this radius of the sphere of influence. This angle we write as psi. So, inside the sphere of influence, you can treat the motion of the satellite as two body problem. Why? Because the effect of gravitational attraction of the earth or the perturbation due to the uh, effect of the perturbation due to the sun on the satellite will be negligible inside this sphere. Okay. So, inside the inside the sphere of influence perturbation due to sun will be negligible hence satellite motion can be treated as a two body problem. Can be treated as two body problem. So, let us assume this velocity we write here in the hyperbola this as the v perigee and uh, v circular we will indicate by v c. So, v c is the velocity in the circular orbit around earth. It can be elliptical event circular orbit here we are for convenience writing circular orbit velocity in circular orbit at the point A. and v p is the velocity in the hyperbolic orbit at okay. u is the point of intersection v infinity this is referring to the velocity of the vehicle or the satellite at the boundary of in the sphere of influence velocity of the satellite at the boundary of the sphere of influence. So, these are the things given to us. Now, what is required? You see here in the interplanetary case, suppose this is the case of the sun, earth and mars. So, here sun is the uh, earth is here in this plane and mars is here in this one. And if we have to go and catch the mars, so, Mars may be somewhere little more ahead, we will show it. Let us say this is the position of the Mars as we have done the calculation earlier for the phase and all other things. So, we do not have to worry about those issues. So, what we have done that we have shown the trajectory to a start like this and go to this point if we are launching here in this place. But whatever we have calculated if you remember the gravitational field was neglected in the problem we have done. Okay. Gravitational field was ignored, but here in the case of earth we cannot ignore it. Gravitational force is quite prominent. Okay. So, inside the sphere of influence if we draw around this sphere of influence and if we know the velocity here let us write this as the v infinity. So, you can assume that this v infinity this serves as the velocity in this elliptical orbit transfer orbit. Okay. So, v infinity and plus the velocity of the earth this makes you the v with respect to the sun. Okay. With respect to sun I will indicate this as the v satellite 
with respect to sun. So, I will write this as S s velocity of satellite with respect to sun. So, while this is going in this elliptical orbit, so it is a moving around the sun, it is a describing an orbit around the sun in an elliptical orbit. So, B infinity which is the velocity with respect to the earth, velocity at the boundary of a sphere of influence with respect to earth and to this then we add the velocity of the earth. So, we get the total velocity because this is the velocity with respect to the earth. So, total velocity will be with respect to the sun then. Okay. So, therefore, we have written here as like this. So, you can see the motion here uh, as I have shown here in this previous page. So, this is hyperbola. So, motion inside the sphere of influence this is a conic section which is hyperbola while so inside this hyperbola and this part is elliptic elliptic uh, I will show by another color. So, elliptic is from this place to this place. Okay. Now, again once it goes to the moon. So, at the moon we have the sphere of influence. So, the pink line I will remove from this part. So, till this this is ellipse which is with respect to the sun. Once it goes inside the sphere of influence or this boundary then again this will be treated as a two body problem and here the trajectory will be then hyperbola. And for this reason this is called the patched conic section method because you are trying to patch elliptical and the hyperbolic orbit. Just by giving one elliptical orbit uh, condition you cannot go to the another planet. You have to escape the gravity of the earth and for escaping minimum parabolic orbit is required. Okay. But if you do parabolic orbit at the boundary of you, you, you will not get the necessary uh, velocity required to go to the uh, mass okay. and therefore, it is sent in hyperbolic orbit. So, for human transfer what is required? So, here in this case this is at the boundary we write this as the v infinity okay. and v v perigee is the velocity in the hyperbolic orbit already we have written at a. So, from here v infinity which is required to go from this place to this place it will be indicated. So, on the solar scale this quant the sphere of influence is quite small and therefore, we will be able to do this approximation here. So, v infinity this will be equal to 2 mu sun divided by radius this is say here the earth rate orbit radius okay, minus 1 by uh, or mu sun by a which is the semi major axis of this orbit under root as we have done in the home hand transfer minus mu sun divided by r earth. The radius of r e is the radius of earth's orbit. So, earth is moving around this with velocity v earth equal to this is v earth earth's velocity v earth equal to mu sun divided by r e under root. So, this we are subtracting with the velocity required in this elliptical orbit okay. 
and that velocity how much we are writing? We are writing as v infinity. Okay, so, this is the extra impulse required, this is the impulse P L S E impulse required which we have written as delta v earlier okay. and A is here r earth plus r mars divided by 2. So, if we insert here in this place this A and rewrite this. So, this will turn out to be 2 r m this you can check yourself I am just skipping that particular part minus 1 times mu by r e under root mu s by r e under root means this is v earth times 2 r m divided by r e plus r m under root minus 1. And if we use our earlier notation, so v infinity this will be v r m bar r e if we write as n. So, this quantity then becomes 2 n divided by 1 plus n minus 1. Okay. This is in the Hohmann transfer the same kind of notation we have used where r m by r earth equal to n. Okay, so, here at the sphere of influence how much velocity is required, how much residual speed is required because once it is coming out of the hyperbola if you see here in this place it starts with v p velocity and here this is v infinity. So, rather I will not say this is impulse because the impulse will provide here in this place. So, the, this is not impulse required, but it is a rather the residual velocity the residual velocity at S o i sphere of influence. Okay. Impulse we are giving here in this place. So, v circular plus delta v this is the impulse given this makes it v p and then v p it starts with v p and goes here it becomes v infinity. So, from here we have deducted that how much v infinity is required okay, for doing the interplanetary transfer. Now, if v infinity is known, so we will be able to calculate v p and that we do as follows. So, calculating v p that is velocity at the perigee of hyperbola. Other technicals detail I will come later on let us first work out this part. So, 1 by 2 we apply the conservation of energy for the two body problem 1 by 2 v p square minus mu earth by rho 0 which is the parking orbit radius as we have taken earlier here this is your rho 0 from here to here and this should be equal to v infinity square divided by 2 okay, at the sphere of influence minus mu by uh, earth divided by rho, where rho is the radius of the sphere of influence. So, from here we get uh, v p square this will be equal to v infinity square plus 2 mu e times 1 by rho 0 minus 1 by rho. We can see that we have been able to calculate the velocity in the hyperbola. V c is known to us the uh, here if you look in the uh, you have the parking orbit here 
so and it's a circular orbit so vc is known to you how much will be the velocity in this parking orbit okay so uh, vc will be mu by rho 0 under root so therefore delta v this will be vp minus vc so from this quantity we have to subtract this quantity therefore delta vp the impulse required at a impulse required at a which is the perigee here this equal to v infinity a square plus 2 mu e 1 by rho 0 minus 1 by rho under root minus mu by rho 0. Okay, once we have worked out this, the rest other things can also be calculated. Now, look into this hyperbola for the hyperbolic trajectory this is the center and this distance is a this is b this we have shown as psi i have shown this as the psi so tan psi this equal to plus minus or I can remove this minus sign just keeping it plus b by a. So, how much b is? b is a times e square minus 1 under root for hyperbola. This is divided by a. Okay. Thereafter, we require anyway v infinity is coming from our home and transfer condition. So, that is known to us. So, here in this case, this quantity is known to us, mu earth this is known to us, rho 0 is known to us, and the sphere of radius of sphere of influence this is also known to us, SOI radius of sphere of influence and rho 0 is the radius of the parking orbit. So, all these quantities are known to us. Now, v perigee velocity here in this point, this is the v perigee, this is the point a we have marked here. So, this can be written as h by rho 0. Conservation of angular, uh, angular momentum equation, this basically this is. So, mu times l under root divided by rho 0 and mu times l under root divided by rho 0 because this is the perigee position. Okay. So, this we can write as l by 1 plus e for the hyperbola r perigee equal to l by 1 plus e and which is nothing but here in this case rho 0. And uh, here this is mu earth, mu earth. So, rest others also we can work out here. So, mu earth divided by L under root times 1 plus E. a times c square minus 1 
we will go to the next page. Also, a times e minus 1, this quantity is rho 0, because this is the perigee position. Okay. Therefore, becomes v p a square equal to mu by a times e plus 1 divided by e minus 1 as we have written here. So, this is mu earth, this is not eccentricity, somewhere it may be confusing, so we can drop it for the time being. We can drop this mu e, so that it does not appear that it is a eccentricity, this we can drop. we have to be careful in writing this. Mu sun already we have used, so I will use here the just mu. Now, using this a times e minus 1, If uh, a we are replacing by uh, actually we have to replace this a, so mu a equal to rho 0 times e minus 1 times e plus 1 divided by e minus 1. So, this is the velocity required in the hyperbolic orbit. But V p is known to us, V c is known to us. So, what we are interested in? We are interested in finding out E. So, rather than doing this, I have to find out E. So, therefore, V square both side and write it like this V c square E plus 1. And this implies V p by V c a square equal to e plus 1 or e equal to V p by V c a square minus 1. So, this way eccentricity of the orbit is also calculated. So, th these are the terms that we require for the orbital transfer and this way we have calculated it. And now tan psi which we have written as b by a equal to a times e a square minus 1 under root divided by a okay, to e a square minus 1 under root okay. and e from this place we can write here v p by v c a square minus 1 and this whole a square minus 1 under root. If we break it and open expand it and then write it, so this gets reduced to this format. So, this is tan psi. So, this angle is also known. So, this way you can see that V p is known to us from V infinity, V infinity comes from the Hohmann condition and transfer condition V c is known to us. So, this way psi is also known to us and what is the psi? Psi is the angle of the asymptote, this is the psi from the abscess line. Okay. This part we have calculated, then other things are also required which we need to work out. So, before I show you the all the things, 
So, we need to write one more thing. Let us say this is the earth and at the boundary here, the hyperbola we have shown like this and at this boundary, v is the velocity vector so this is your angle phi so this is vehicle velocity vector we write rather as v infinity, because we are trying to do it with respect to this is the angle psi we have shown, this angle we write as theta. Basically, this is your flight path angle. So, as we have done this tan phi, this will be equal to r dot divided by r times theta dot as we have done in the case of the orbit determination problem. So, r dot r times h by r square this becomes r r dot divided by h and uh, r dot expression also we have derived which is h e sin theta divided by l and how we are deriving r dot equation again repeating here this we have written as L y r equal to 1 plus e cos theta and differentiating this e sin theta times theta dot we got as minus L y r square r dot and then r dot equal to e sin theta times r square divided by L times theta dot. So, theta dot is h by r square this this cancels out. So, e sin theta h divided by l. So, h e sin theta divided by l we have written here in this place. So, therefore, this becomes r by h times h e sin theta divided by l. So, this quantity gets reduced to h s cancels out r e sin theta divided by l and we can write this as e sin theta divided by l by r this sin theta divided by 1 plus e cos theta. So, instead of using theta I will later on I will use the theta identical with f because theta I will use for some other symbol. Okay. So, the, this expression we are using here. So, using this we have uh, tan phi equal to e sin theta divided by 1 plus e cos theta and similarly cos phi we can write as r theta dot divided by v. So, r times theta dot is h by r square v. So, this is h by r v and h is mu times l under root divided by r v. So, mu times a times e a square minus 1 under root times r and v is 2 mu by r recalling the expression v a square equal to mu times uh, 2 by r plus 1 by a for the hyperbola. So, plus 1 by a and if we rearrange this, so the cos phi will turn out to be that you can check yourself cos phi equal to e a square times e a square minus 1 divided by r times 2 a plus r under root. So, here in this case r we have to replace by this row. So, this becomes a square e a square minus 1 rho times 2 a plus rho under root. 
and v because e is known to us and therefore a is also known to us because the r perigee we know r perigee is rho, rho dot rho 0. So, from there the a is also known. So, all the quantities are known here. So, therefore, this flight path angle of the vehicle this can also be calculated which we always compute with the local horizontal. So, one more thing we can note down that uh, at once r tends to very large value okay, that is r equal to infinity. Okay. So, at that time your r dot will be equal to v infinity. Here, uh, see in the case uh, r times theta dot, this is the one is radial velocity which is r dot, and here you have the r times theta dot. So, r times r square theta dot this equal to h. So, r times theta dot is h by r and once r becomes very large, so this almost this tends to 0. So, therefore, this is the approximation we can write r dot equal to v infinity. And therefore, from this place r dot equal to v infinity equal to mu e sin theta infinity here in this case where theta infinity is referring to this, this becomes asymptotic. Okay. This theta when theta becomes theta equal to theta infinity, this is becomes asymptotic. So, mu e sin theta r dot value we are inserting here divided by h and this implies v infinity equal to already v infinity we have calculated, but here also you can look from this place mu e divided by h and sin theta this quantity sin theta infinity earlier in the conic section equation we have derived it this is quantity e square minus 1 divided by e. So, this is e square minus 1 under root divided by e. So, mu times e square minus 1 divided by h and h is the quantity already we have derived this is mu e square e square minus 1 or mu e we delete here this is v infinity a square. So, this we arrange it and write here in this way after arranging we have written it and earlier also we have derived this relationship. So, you can see the same thing comes from two different ways. So, rho 0 equal to r p is L by 1 plus e equal to h square divided by mu 1 plus e. So, rho 0 this then gets reduced to h square we can insert from this place then insert here. So, this is mu a square e a square minus 1 divided by mu times v infinity a square divided by 1 plus e. So, this gets reduced to mu times e minus 1 divided by v infinity a square. So, we have rho 0 times v infinity a square divided by mu plus 1 this equal to e. So, this is another expression we are getting. Okay. 
and also cos psi this equal to 1 by e again referring to conic section okay. and therefore, psi equal to cos inverse 1 by e, e is known. So, psi is known. So, you can see the multiple ways we have tried to evaluate this psi. Okay. Okay, once we have calculated this, okay, so V infinity this happens to be our hyperbolic excess velocity which is available from Hohmann transfer condition. Now, once we have done this, then we have to exit from the sphere of influence and thereafter the normal coasting will take place along the elliptic okay. and then again it goes and enters the sphere of influence of the Mars. So, at that time the entry condition is there. So, we need to just uh, work out this exit and the entry condition and the rest other things are done. So, if, uh, it does not require much mathematics now only thing on the geometry I have to show the rest of the things. Okay, how to calculate the angles, what are the angles involved. So, I will do that in the next uh, this uh, next lecture. So, uh, thank you very much, we will continue in the next lecture.